Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok, hallo gubar, Maxime here. Like it or not, here's my first Valorant guide. It's something that I've wanted to at least try out, and what better way to start than to make the same video I once did for CSGO back in 2014. This video will not focus on the obvious things such as gun sounds or even the fact that everyone can hear when someone does an ultimate. If you didn't know this, then now you know. So let's start with the barriers. As long as they are closed, you are silent to the enemy. But as soon as they go up, this circle is your footsteps circle. If someone is running outside of this circle, you will not be able to hear them. Shifting and crouching is obviously silent, but can be combined with jumping. A normal jump to a higher position will make a sound. A shift jump will not including a crouch jump. This means that you can access certain positions and be a ninja. Landing will also make a sound if it's high enough. Releasing crouch before landing will not make a single difference compared to CSGO. However, you can land on someone silently, which could be useful to know. B-hopping is, well, not so discreet, but Edhead, a close friend of mine, discovered that B-hopping with shift while continuously going upwards makes your jumps silent. This can be used on many ramps to gain more speed and still make no sound. Here's a quick comparison when shift walking normally. It can also be done on crates and objects. You are silent as long as you keep going up with each jump. When using ropes, running normally, including crouching, will make a sound. But you stay silent when shift walking. Orbs will make a sound, but it won't reveal to enemies if you have finished picking it up. Next up, the weapons. Switching between the weapons will not make a single sound, including the spike itself, and zooming or scoping does not reveal your position at all. Reloading will make a sound, fake reloading as well, but only if you wait long enough. Retrieving a gun or even the spike is totally silent. Dropping something, however, will always make a sound, even when you're crouching and also just by throwing stuff in the air. Planting or just fake planting always makes a sound. Planted. The same for diffusing. Now we get to abilities. Abilities will not make a sound to your enemies until they are used. Your teammates gain more information when you are planning to use your abilities, but the enemies will not. To make it perfectly clear, abilities that are not being used, even if you have them up and ready, will not be heard by your enemies until you use them. And it doesn't matter which ability it is. They all trigger a sound when they are used. Even when you're healing yourself with Sage or using a flash from Phoenix. Moving on, we get to smoke abilities. If an enemy goes through Cypher's Cyber Cage, 
it makes a sound. But any other smoke-related ability except for ciphers will make no sound when passing through so be extra cautious of sneaky players. If you are being wall hacked, then you can still be silent, even if they can see you through the walls. Any surface related ability such as Sage's slow orb or Phoenix's hot hands will not make a single sound when shift walking through. Finally, let's look at Omen and his teleport abilities. Teleporting does make a small sound. The ultimate as well. But if you use it further away from someone, they won't be able to locate your new position. If you have any further questions regarding this topic, I'll try to answer them as best as possible. And with any new info, I'll put it in the video description. Oh, and you can also hear a spray. Please give this video a like if you want to support my content. And I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome and go bananas.